Hey YouTube, um, Linnell here on my journey. I am at the truck stop. I wanted to do this video. I'm going to try not to cry. I think I won't because I had time to cool off. It's been a really awful uh, couple of days. And the reason I'm doing this is um, you're going to have bad days just are and you're gonna get upset and um, I'm not a guy so um, I don't know how guys react but this female person um, I got upset and um, I think I think it's partly a whole bunch of things all together um, I still love trucking, but I didn't love it the last couple days. Um, so, like I said, I don't I don't know if it's because uh, the holidays are upon us. Um, Zane, my 15 year old, is awful. He's horrible. Um, he's mean, disrespectful lazy and I know he's a teenager and I'm sure my mom has some things to say about me but I don't remember being this awful um, I don't know if it's just the continuing COVID Rona thing I'm so sick of it I'm just sick of it um, I have you know, I try to have fun with everything I've got. Let me show you. I have some fun gators. You know, I got all kinds of... <laughs> but I'm sick of it. Um, I haven't been affected as far as um, my job. I mean, I've been working. Uh, but... I'm just tired of it. Um, the holidays coming up. I'll be working. Um, Zane doesn't give a crap if I'm alive or dead. So I might as well work and make money. Um, you know, all my family and friends are in Texas. I mean in Washington. Um, I don't really have any ties here in Texas except work. So I'm feeling lonesome. Um, you know, I get along with my ex, which is great, but I don't have anybody special. So, and it's in pot with the Rona. How are you going to, where are you going to meet? Where are you going to meet people? So, um, and then, like I keep saying, the holidays. I'm missing um, family that's not here anymore. I'm missing uh, my grandma and grandpa. cousins that used to come and don't have any of that stuff anymore. Missing chosen family, friends that used to have a big huge uh, Christmas dinner and have all my uh, friends and neighbors over and I miss cooking. I'm a good cook. Uh, I miss having a big, huge meal and a whole bunch of people over and, um, you know, I don't do that anymore. Uh, trucking is different than any other job you're ever going to have. And um, there's some really great things about it. It's a good paying job. But there's things you're going to miss. You know, I'm missing home. I'm missing Washington. I miss my little hobby farm in Seabeck and my Angora rabbits and the goats and the chickens. And I miss that a lot. I miss, um, you know, I had a friend I used to go over and I'd do spinning. Um, I have a spinning wheel. I never spin anymore. 
so uh, yeah it sucks and uh, with trucking you know it's really the, the opposite of everybody else not not just being a night driver that's one thing but it's also that when you think about it most people work it, their their day at work is a 10 hour day so you've got um, eight hours at work and then you have say uh, you know a half an hour lunch and then you've got you know half hour 45 minute commute on either side so figure 10 hours and then you're home for 14 so you, know, you figure you're home uh, you sleep eight six seven eight hours and then you have the rest of the time to be up with your family and do stuff with trucking um, it's the opposite so you have you work 14 hours and then you got 10 hours left and of those 10 hours especially if you're home daily it's, it's brutal your commute on either side and then you got the eight hours that you're supposed to sleep so my commutes an hour each way and so I got eight hours left. If I stop at Wally World to go grocery shopping, if I want to spend time with my son, uh, if I want to cook, um, all those things, those come out of that eight hours. And so what gets sacrificed is sleep. So then you're tired. And then you have a crappy day. I just want to tell you, Ever in South Texas, in Harlingen, the Lowe's at Harlingen, they're the worst store ever. I hate them. They're very disrespectful to the drivers of your time. Anyway, I lost a bunch of miles. Uh, I lost another really good load, and I lost an additional hundred dollars for working a sixth day because of this stupid store and they've done it before to me and to other drivers and so that kind of set me off and I was frustrated and then um, I'm generally a pretty positive person I hope that that comes through but we all have days and I had a day and a half I definitely so that's going to lead me to something else about trucking and I get a lot of questions about what's the best company to work for. There isn't a best company. There's not. Um, there's good and bad about every company. The good thing about Hub Group, they pay well. Um, this next check is going to suck. But hopefully my DM will take care of me. I hope he will. He's pretty awesome. And that's the whole thing. So the companies, I'm going to say this really brutal. The companies don't give a crap about you at all. They don't care. I don't care what your recruiter says. I don't care what the company's slogan is. You know, Warner cares. Warner doesn't care. Hub group doesn't care. They don't give a crap about the drivers. When I worked at UPS, when I was a package car driver, they didn't give a crap about the drivers. They cared more about a chair than they did about the drivers. Because the drivers and the people, the part-timers unloading and loading, they're replaceable. They could just get somebody new in, some other idiot. Not that you're an idiot, but you know what I'm saying. That's how they look at you. You're, you're just you're replaceable but a chair that chair costs them some money so they care more about the chair than they care about you and that's how it is that's just that's just the reality the thing that's different is the people that you work with directly so what's this guy doing are you gonna just well, you're gonna nose in okay there's tons of room but he's gonna pull nose in I don't get that um, all right.
back to what I was talking about. It's the people that you work with that matter. And it's the people that you work with that make or break a company for you. So you got to look at what's important to you. So I've said this before about, um, you know, look at what the company offers home daily. Don't do it. <laughs> don't. Home daily is hard. Over the road, regional, all those things. Um, paid holidays, paid vacation or not. Um, by the hour and the mile, by the drop, um, whatever it is, you need to find out what's important to you. But ultimately, um, it's the people that you work with and those relationships that matter. And, you know, having somebody to talk to, and that's the hard thing about being on the road, um, even though I'm generally home every other day, but I haven't been. I've just been staying in the truck because Zane's a jerk and I just don't even want to go home. Um, so, anyway, I it's a different lifestyle and it can be lonely. And I, I like interacting with people, nice people. And it's just I want you to know that I want to be real about the industry and about some of the things about trucking that you know you're gonna have a bad day or two you are you just are and you got to look at um, you know one it's just a day it'll you'll have another day um, Secondly, your son will eventually grow up and, I guess, go away. <laughs> so, um, but that's that's my little thing. Um, see, I did good. I welled up a little bit, but I didn't full on. Well, I dropped a couple tears, but I didn't like actually burst into tears. I felt like it. I felt like it the last few days. I have. I just felt pretty alone, so, um, but you got to remember your goals and what you're doing, why you're doing it, um, I'm not going to leave Warner, I mean, uh, <laughs> that was a Freudian slip, I'm not going to leave Hub Group, um, you know, because they pay really well, and when it comes down to it, that's really all it is, um, there's a, uh, you don't follow the Red Viking Trucker, you should. Um, I learned a lot from him, and he's been really great to me and uh, helped promote me. And um, you know, you gotta noodle it out. You gotta, uh, you know, figure out your pay and what's important, and look at that. So, um, company's a company. They're not loyal to you. You're like uh, Red says. Basically, you're. Really, even though you're a company driver, you're you're an independent contractor. You're you're exchanging your time and your knowledge and abilities for money. And so, if you don't like the, you feel your company has broken the contract, then uh, then start looking for something else. Don't be don't be rash. Don't get mad and go quit. Especially if you don't have another job lined up, because it might feel good for a second, but then reality is going to hit, and you're going to go, "Crap, I don't have a job." So don't do that. Just it'll be another day, and it'll be all right. And uh, I know that's true. I just wish I could be with my friends, so and my sister. time of year I guess so okay so that's the deal if you got any questions feel free to put them in the comments I'll try and answer them um, but I wanted to 
talk about some of the realities of trucking and the trucking life and companies. And that's it. All right. So I got some salmon. I'm going to eat from my little lunchbox cooker thing, which is awesome. And, uh, and then I'm going to go to bed. And uh, I'll be back at home tomorrow. And I got two days off since they screwed over my load. So I won't be working a six day. Thanks. Sorry for a little longer video, but I, I hope that this is useful as you evaluate whether or not you want to get into trucking. All right. Thanks.